YouTube, what is up? It is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game, man. And let's clap it up one time. Your boy finally got lucky. I finally hit on something, hit on the raffle. Obviously, we know what today is, May 30th, and we are getting, or got, I guess, the Flint 13 to drop this morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and whatever time that is, wherever you guys are. Now, as you guys know, I haven't been getting lucky on the sneakers app, man, but I got some news for y'all. I got lucky with Eblins. I don't know how many people know Eblins. Those of you, you know what I'm saying, in the tri-state area in the Northeast probably know about Eblins. For everyone else, it's basically, it's really similar to a, to a Jimmy Jazz. Um, but I did hit on their raffle. I actually entered, if you guys follow my Instagram, I'm not going to show you the front of the cards, but um, I entered in five different stores. Um, near me, they were open raffling off the Flint 13s, and I hit one of them. Um, I'm gonna go pick them up today, which me, which is dope, cause I haven't gotten to use these in a while. Um, I think the last time I did these was when I did the uh, the Black Cat 4 pickup. You guys remember that? So it is camera glasses, so you guys can see my point of view to go pick them things up. And the only problem I have is, like I said, I entered in five stores, so I don't know which ticket is which. They do write their store. All I know is that it's not this one. I know which store this one came from. But these four all look the same. They just have different store numbers on them. So I got to ask them which store is their store number. But that's enough talking, man. Let's go pick up these Flint 13s. All right, so the first order of business, I got to figure out what I'm wearing there. Since we are going to pick up some OGs, I'm going to wear some OGs. I'm going to take these out. This is actually the first time I'm going to take these out right here. My Fire Red 5. So we're going to lace up, hop in the car, and get the pusher. Gotta make sure that this is with me, you know what I mean? And I got a box for goat out that I gotta drop off on the way back. We'll cover that up in the back seat. And uh we're gonna get a shaking. Let's roll. Ugh. All right man, we arrived at the mall. You know what I mean? Let's go get these 13s. As you see, I got all OGs to pick up the OGs. And then one more order of business. Got to put the mask on. Got to stay safe out here in these streets. You know? All right. Mask on. And then what else do we need? Wallet, keys, phone. Let's get it. Uh, let me get, I got my money. So there it is, let's go get them. Ma, gotta get that hand sanitizer in. They got this in for everybody now, so walk in. Get your little hand sanitizer squirt. Yeah, it is dead out here in the malls, as you can see. Look like a ghost town. You see an abandoned shopping cart right there in front of Target. Escalator running for no reason. Just running. But I see Eblins over there in the distance. I'm gonna go pick up my J's. Yes, sir. Here we go. Y'all can see they got the gym red ones. I was gonna pick those up. I put them on my story. They didn't have them in my size, so I might check another store at some other time for them. Oh, they closed? What time they open? I thought they opened at 10. I guess not. What we got over here? Are those the React Air Force ones? They got the React Air Force one. Oh, this is all the um, 4th of July stuff. That's crazy. They're not opening it. All right, man, so it's 10.30. I'm going to try again, go walk into this Eblins and see if they are open. Um, hopefully they are. If not, then I think they open at 11. Hopefully y'all can hear me. I got the mask on. I don't know what that's doing for sound right now, but we finna find out when I go to edit this. So let's do it. Buddy out here got the, what to do? Uh, I can't even think right now. The feelings on They just came out with 
the Fila ones, they just came out with the, uh, what's it called? The Ready to Die pair. GA Kicks did a review on them. Back in the mall. Gotta hit that hand sandy again. I thought they opened at 10, Me but too. I came here at 10, they wasn't open, so I'm trying at 10 30 now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it said 11 actually, because I checked Foot Locker. I don't even think Foot Locker's open. I thought it was pick up by 11. It's usually 10 pick up by 11. Wait, they had a raffle here too? Or no? Yeah. Mm. I'm about to just send them out and see if I can get them. Need my ID. What time are you doing? What size is it on there? Uh, 12. 10 and a half. What's that? What's that? The boy Jackson? They right here. You going? Yeah, right here. Up top. Yeah, no. No, not the chair. No, no, no. Oh, you want to try them on? I'm good. Oh. What size? Twelve, yeah. I wrote them down. These are twelve. You're the twelve? Yep. Oh. They're gonna be final sale, okay? Uh. Is it going to be debit or credit? Uh, You're all set for the rest of your day. Appreciate it. <laughs> Go get the nine. Appreciate it. Um, you can come in. You can actually come in. Good luck. All right, YouTube. I'm sitting in the parking lot. As you can see, I was able to pick up my Flint 13 right here. Got, see, I got the bag, Eblin. So, one thing that is wild is, I mean, I don't know how well y'all were able to see it in there, but there was mad people waiting outside in line, like maybe because of the pandemic, but they wasn't just letting people in with raffles to go pick up your shoes and go. It was only a couple people in at a time. They were letting people try on shoes. It's a whole bunch of nonsense. And then there was people in line that didn't even have the raffle and didn't know that, that there was a raffle and thought, oh, I could just walk in and get them, right? They're not raffled out. Nah, bro, I don't think you realize how sought after these were but those are people that are new to the game those are people that don't realize how much these sneakers are really worth not these sneakers but just the sneaker game in general so we're gonna open them up right here and pull out the kicks man finally got my flint 13s in hand in my size um go check out my review before i already did a review on these in a size eight not my personal pair got them from hype room but this is a personal pair so what i'm gonna do right now just real quick look around you know what i'm saying got the hologram there hologram there on the on the uh midfoot of the shoe white pods nice flint gray nice great suede right there nice and soft flint gray nice soft leather reflective 3m on there uh, man, it's really hot in this car right now, y'all. So what I'm going to do, man, I'm going to just go throw y'all on for it right now. And then I'll finish the video off when I'm back at the house.
Hi YouTube, so I'm back home to finish off the video, man. It was just way too hot out there to be in my car, and then when the air conditioning is on, it's too loud for the mic. So I'm gonna finish off the video right here, man. As you can see, Flint 13's in hand. Not gonna get too much in depth. I already did a review on it, so go check that out. I did have a pair from Hype Room that they were able to get early, so I did do a review on those. One thing that I didn't do though on the on foot or in the review before was show you guys the bubble, the hologram. Um, like an idiot, I left the tape on for the on foot, but you can see it. The Jumpman 2-3 hologram. You also have that hologram on the midsole, or sorry, on the outsole in the midfoot. But I am probably going to wrap this with vinyl just to keep it from getting too messed up over time. And this is going to keep it clean. Now the three of them on these things really pop, and I really like how subtle it is. Because especially on 13s, for people that don't know, so for a non-sneakerhead that sees a 13, they don't expect them to reflect the way that they do, and then bam. You hit the light the right way, you take a picture of them, they reflect crazy. Here's some film from my review that I did on those size 8 13s, but the 3 in on them, 3 M on them really pops. Really excited to have them in hand, man. Just an all-around really clean, really calm shoe. Could wear it all times of the year. It's a good shoe for the winter, it's a good shoe for the summer, it's a good shoe for the fall, it's a good shoe for the spring. The colorway on it just works really well. Happy to have a pair of OG 13s. As you guys know, I'm trying to get at least one OG colorway in each silhouette. But guys that is it for the video man if you guys are new here and you like the content make sure that you hit that subscribe button join the channel the goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year make sure that you smash that like button helps with the algorithms helps the videos get shown to you also follow my instagram at anonymous sneakerhead you get a lot of information there first posted about these already posted about me winning the raffle for them already posted about um when i picked them up i think i put um something on the story i know i have the hologram up on the story but make sure that you follow the instagram um and that is it for this one man i am the anonymous sneakerhead the most mysterious sneaker youtuber in the game and as always it's all about the sneakers